quiet, stern. And maybe it's because I'm finding it harder and harder to slip into space longer. But when the sky is awake, my heart is pounding, my breaths increase rapidly, the elephant has left the room and is now sitting inside my chest. My brain is a mix of race cars that blur by in nothingness. They say after a traumatic event, your prefrontal cortex shuts down. Your brain enters survival mode, but your body never forgets. And I think my bones have bursted open from the death of my mama. Fourth of July waterworks never stained my cheeks. My rib cage grieving the loss of a 17-year-old first love. A 14-year friendship. November marks the end of the journey for the last person I called home. My uterus is a tombstone as of January 3rd. Eight weeks is such a short time to spend growing you, but three weeks is a horribly long time for you to exit my womb. Day after day, pieces of what could have been reminding me that it will never be. My eyelids playing flashbacks of fifth grade gunshots screaming through the front door, and although my eight-year-old hands grew, I don't think my palms ever forgot the visiting room glass. The feel of the cold steel as I slam my body against it when they walk my hero away. My feet never tired of 19 years of walking through metal detectors. 15 minute phone calls never left my ears. My blood runs cold. With a 25 year old in love with bruised promises of it will never happen again. This body, this body remembers while my brain constantly tries to forget.